My name is Patrick Sheehan, and I am a former IRS attorney. How do you cut a deal with the IRS? It's called an offer and compromise. An offer and compromise is where you cut a deal with the IRS. You may have heard of pennies on the dollar. That's what an offer and compromise refers to. An offer and compromise is based upon many different factors. Your age, your health, your income, your assets, your liabilities. The IRS is going to look at a 99-year-old a guy with a terminal illness far differently than someone who just graduated from medical school, for example. And so the IRS takes a look at your income and your expenses to see if you can pay the liability in full. If you can pay the liability in full, you're not eligible for an offer and compromise. If you can't ever pay the liability in full, then you are eligible for an offer and compromise. Once you cross the threshold into eligibility, the focus is no longer on what you owe anymore. It could be a million dollars, it could be ten million dollars, it doesn't matter. If you're eligible for an offer and compromise, the focus is then on your ability to pay. And that's unique only to you. The IRS has something called national standards. It's kind of like a budget. And so you're entitled to housing and utilities. But if your housing and utilities or your car is more expensive than the national standards, then the IRS disallows the difference for purposes of the mathematical calculation to determine if you're eligible for an offer and compromise. Now, if you take a look at the offer form, it's relatively simple. You check the boxes. Uh, you can file an offer in minutes. That's the worst thing you can do. There's something called pre-offer planning. And so with all of our clients, we take a look at their income, their expenses. We make suggestions to them to make an offer and compromise more attractive to the IRS, and you will spend less money as a result. Once the offer and compromise is accepted, you're done. You don't owe the IRS any more money. But you do have to be careful because the terms and conditions of the offer require you to be a good taxpayer for five years. And so if you continue having tax problems in the future, the IRS is going to take the offer and compromise, tear it up into little bits like it never existed, and then the old liability springs back to life. When I worked at the IRS, I was the guy that said yes or no to all of the offers and compromise at the district council level. We've been doing offers here for about 21 years now, and we have a very, very successful program. So if you'd like to file an offer and compromise, come see us. We can help. Call us at 877-4-IRS-LAW. You'll actually talk to a real lawyer who will answer your questions immediately. Call 877-4-IRS-LAW. Or visit our website at 877-4-IRS-LAW.com. Call us before the IRS calls you.